Hello, how is everyone? It is me, Eldra Selena. I will be teaching on the Beatitudes. So we're coming to the end of our Beatitudes lessons. I just wanted to do um, a recap and just remind us that we need to have the same attitude that Jesus did. So it tells us in 1 John 2, 6, that um, if we say we have Jesus in our hearts, we have to live our lives like Jesus lived his life. So he's our example. So therefore, we're going to try our best to live as he did. And I wanted to also read Matthew 5, 1 through 16 to do a recap on how Jesus lived. And this is called the Sermon on the Mount. So let's share what that looks like and what it says. So the Sermon on the Mount, starting with verse five. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And this is where the Beatitudes begin. And he opened his mouth and taught them saying, this is Jesus, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And then it tells us to be salt and light. And I showed you a video on this, video on this the other week. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So we definitely want to do all those things and be a light to others so that we are drawing them to God. We don't want to steer people away from him with our actions, with our words, with our mean attitudes. So all of these things, being humble and a peacemaker and um, doing all those things that God wants us to do would be a blessing to others and not a curse. So it tells us to walk as Jesus walked. What does that mean? When John said we are to walk as Jesus walked, he didn't mean walk as in walk down the street, putting one foot in front of the other physically, but we are to live as Jesus lived. So we're going to be more like Jesus. Look how gentle he is. Gentle Jesus, meek and mild. <laughs> But he's also powerful. But we have to remember that he can take care of us in situations that um, are kind of tricky or tough or difficult. So uh, we are to live like Jesus. And he shows us how to walk through this life as he did in a manner that is a blessing. So as you walk out the Beatitudes, um, I want to speak a blessing over you. Jesus promises us that if we live our lives with these good things of Jesus in our hearts, he will bless us. Sometimes it's hard to walk, walk out all the Beatitudes, those eight that I listed, but it gets easier over time as you allow the Holy Spirit to empower you to do so. 
sometimes we don't show mercy or sometimes we try to take things under our own control or we don't love as we should. Uh, Jesus said it would be hard to walk this path because it is so narrow. Because we have to think of a, um, like a narrow walkway. That is the path that Jesus wants us to take and not everybody is able to do that. It would be easy to live our lives without all the good things of Jesus in our hearts, but that life leads to destruction. That's a wide path and so many people are on it. It's, it's like going along with the crowd, doing what others are doing. So we don't want to live on that broad road. We want to live on the narrow road, straight and narrow with God's ways and his will. If we are careful to let Jesus take care of us, we can walk this narrow way and be blessed by him. So we definitely want to be blessed by Jesus. So moving forward, you will choose which path you will take. Are you going to choose the narrow path? God's way, or are you going to choose the broad path that everybody else is on? The way to destruction is wide. Like we said, the broad path. Wide means broad. And it's easy to walk, but the narrow path, it has its rewards. So as we walk that narrow path, there's a blessing at the end of it and along the journey as well. So God is reminding us to um, do those things. So I want to show you a video, and it's going to sum up what we've been learning about um, with the various Beatitudes for these past few weeks. All right, I will enlarge it. Hey, do you want to be happy? Do you know how to be happy? Yeah, there are different opinions on that. Some people think that the way to happiness is to get rich and not need anybody. That you should live for the moment. That you should be proud and think you are the best. That you shouldn't care for people who suffer injustice. That you should take revenge on those who hurt you. That might make it right. And you should never stand up for what you believe in. Are you happy? Well, there is another way. When Jesus talked about being happy, he gave us the Beatitudes. Beatitude is another word for happy or being blessed. Jesus told us the way to true happiness is to know that we need God and we need each other. That when one of us suffers, we should all mourn together and that we should care about those who suffer injustice. That it's better to be humble than arrogant. That mercy is better than revenge. That peace is better than fighting. And that we should stand up for what we believe, even if it means we'll suffer. Happy? Living the Beatitudes is living like Jesus did. It's the happiness your heart was made for. The happiness your heart was made for. I love that. So we are to do those things and remind ourselves each and every day. Of course, it's not easy. We have to do it, like I said, with the power of the Holy Spirit. So here's a recap. Um, it says in Matthew 5, because you are poor in spirit, yours is the kingdom of heaven. Because you, are, you mourn, you shall be comforted. Because you are meek, you shall inherit the earth. Because you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you shall be filled. Because you are merciful, 
you shall receive mercy. Because you are pure in heart, you shall see God. Because you are a peacemaker, you are a son or daughter of God. Because you are persecuted, yours is the kingdom of heaven. So as we strive to be meek and poor in spirit and merciful and pure in heart, God sees that. He sees that we are doing our best to be light and salt and walk that straight and narrow path. So I encourage you all to do those things that we have talked about. Um, Ask Jesus to uh, help you, to allow you to be that light that draws people to him. So we are going to pray for the remainder of our day and the remainder of our existence here on earth that God will help us. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder of all the ways that we should walk as you walk, Father God, here on this earth, being merciful and and pure and kind and just loving towards others because you are love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for um, just going before us and preparing people's hearts and minds as we shine our light and draw them to you. Thank you for this reminder in Jesus' name. Amen. So as you go about your day and go about your week, just um, remind, have a reminder in your heart each and every day to be more and more like Jesus. Have a wonderful and blessed day, my friends. We'll see you next time.